guys, if I lose this challenge, okay, and you guys give me 8,000 likes on this video, I'm just gonna shove my head. Shave my head, not shove my head. <laughs> but the colors, like when you put the light on it, it's yeah. super red. The goonch, only two more came in. This is very important in an aquarium hobby. Look at this, look at this. I'm not even playing. This guy is the biggest one in the world. Chalice, lungfish, oh my God. The UPS? No. What's up? Oh, you're filming already. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Predatory Fans. We're actually here at the door waiting for USPS guy to show up. Okay? The reason why, well, Jordan is actually doing some work. You know, he's, he's a hard working man. But the reason why I'm here waiting for this guy is because last time when we had my challenge, he showed up last minute and I lost it. Right now, we have about 10 minutes before I'm the winner of the biggest lungfish challenge. Bro, come on, you think I'm gonna win? I'm gonna win. I gotta win this one. No, I'm not. Listen, guys, if I lose this challenge, okay, and you guys give me 8,000 likes on this video, I'm just gonna shove my head. What? Shave my head, not shove my head. <laughs> shave my head. I'll shove my head somewhere else. I'll shave my head for you, and I'll, that would be that would be for me to stop doing these dumb challenges. Okay, and all you know what? Look, Jordan was complaining that his Instagram channel is not getting many followers. So I'll put the Instagram channel right here on the screen right now. If you guys get him a thousand new followers this week, how many followers do you have? 148. But I speak with more like enthusiasm. Come on. How many how many followers you have? 148. 148. Okay. <laughs> so if we get a thousand likes, you will shave your head with me. Okay. I'm I mean, only, you've been growing it for a few. I'm only saying because I generally don't think it's gonna happen. I mean, I don't so think, you don't, I don't believe? Think, I don't think people just blow up like that. I just don't believe. Guys, it. it's on you. Let's do it. A thousand followers on his Instagram account. We're gonna shove his head. A thousand likes. Eight thousand on this video. I'll shave myself. I said shave. No. I'm not shoving nothing. I'll shave your head. <laughs> okay, and, then, and then 8,000 likes on this video and I'll do my head. Let's do it. But while we're waiting for the USPS guy to show up, hopefully he doesn't. As you can see here, we started taking everything apart for the move. We had all these bins full of plumbing and it, the whole place is a mess. That's why we had to close the doors because you can barely walk in here. All those boxes there already are ready to go with tools or plumbing supplies or pipes everything's getting packed up while we're packing up we're still selling fish so before we go ahead i can't i hope he doesn't come let me just show you some of the fish that came in they're not on the website yet but look at that red queen african cichlid really pretty fish the colors are really pretty i mean it was super red when it came in that was more orange maybe it's because the background and then up here <clears throat> we have the goonch. Only two more came in. It's about 12 inches. The Burundi frontosa is actually very pretty as well. Big size. And there's another goonch on this side. But we have some new stuff that came in. We got a shipment coming in from Suriname. Some really cool stuff. So stay tuned for that. We got Bracopondos. We got this, the Black Serratus, which is like the Black Dragon Pleco. The Flame Pike. That is a really pretty pike. Here we have a bunch of these little eels that I haven't even put on the website yet. They're called lesser spiny eel. Look how tiny they are. But they're eating blood worms. And they're really cool. I left this in, in the tank because they came in like this. So, so they hide in this ball of plastic. Circles like clown knife. Yeah, it's pretty cool. A nice little eel. I don't think they get that big. So they'll be nicer for a smaller tank. But we also have giant size fire eels coming in. Look at it, everything looks okay. Look at this, this is a smaller one that came in. But the colors, like when you put the light on it, oh, it's yeah. super red, really pretty fish. I'm trying to get some that are bigger than 20, 24 inches. But they're coming in nice. And I like the fact that they're like, they come up to the glass, you know, and they'll follow your finger around. I think they're raised 
with people. Like, not in the same tank of people, I'm trying to say. But I'm saying, like, they're whoever is raising these animals, they're interacting with them. They're not just letting them in a tank and, and feeding them. But a lot of the tanks are empty. We, you know, we have, I think, three more shipments coming in before the end of the year. And that would be it. But I sold a lot of our fish from this tank. And we're taking the fish from the 12,000. But if you guys are interested or you have a place for it, we're selling the saltwater tank and we're selling the 12,000. Those two tanks, instead of taking apart and taking with us, because over there, the new facility, we want to build something bigger. So we'll put these guys for sale, that one, that one, and everything that you see on this side is also for sale. The only thing that we're taking is the 800 with the red tank, we move the red sand, <clears throat> and the 3,000 with the leucistic fly river turtle. But while we're waiting for this guy to show up, which hopefully he doesn't, so I can become the winner of the lungfish challenge. Well, he's actually hiding right here. You can even see him. He looks like a log back there. Uh, there's his head right here. You can go to the angle and see his head. And honestly, everybody that sent me the videos, nothing big, nothing crazy. This is the winner, 100%, or I'll shave my head. I already said that. But while we're waiting for this guy, I want to do what? Oh, I want to show you guys something, okay? This is very important in an aquarium hobby. You got to make sure your heater is the right heater for your tank. And I'm going to do a test for you to see. Look at this. This is a 500 watt heater and it has a screen to make sure that the fish don't get messed up. But look how fast and how strong. It can heat up. I have a Corona bottle here. I don't drink Corona, but you know, that's the bottle that I found. I'm gonna show you what this heater will do to this bottle in 10 minutes. You're not gonna believe it. Just watch. Come here. Just make sure you show inside. I just have a little bit of water so it can heat up faster, but it's very important that you don't overheat your tank because you can kill your fish and the seams on your tank can also melt because you're gonna see what you'll do to this bottle. You're not gonna believe this. All right, let's speed up this process. I'll move the bottle around to make sure that it heats up properly. Do we have gloves? Because it's going to be hot. I actually have to put gloves on. Be right back. All right, guys, so it's been 10 minutes. We're going to go ahead and show you what this bottle would do. Hey, you know that bottle looks like your neck, right? This one here? Yeah. Not for long, bro. <laughs> Not for long. Watch this. All right, we'll see. I'm going to start. It's hot, but I'm going to start by taking it out. Now watch this, watch the way, this looks a little weird. Let me just keep going this like that. And I put it back in the, ooh, put it back in the heat. Now you have to dump it and do it inside. All right guys, it's been 10 minutes. Watch this. Oh. Look at that. The heat on that water. It was so strong. It didn't burn my hand though. Cause I'm a man. But look what it did to the glass. It's insane. So guys, make sure. And look, I'm not cheating. Look at this. You can come and see inside. It's not boiling yet, but it's very hot. But look at this. It changed the shape of the bottle. So imagine what it could do to your fish or the tank or the, or the silicone. What do you think, bro? It's insane, right? In, in... Oh yeah, totally, bro. What are you talking about? Bro, the... you can't tell that this is not the same bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry guys, I had to play a prank. I had this bottle for five years now. I had no more idea what to do with it, more than five, five years. Someone actually gave it to me when I had the moving company. I was doing an estimate. So I had to figure out a little prank to do with you guys. But I think I got many people there thinking that this was actually hot. Sorry. Hey, here's a free beer for you, bro. Take it home. Oh, thanks, Enjoy bro. your weekend. Yeah, All right, so jokes apart, look at this, look at this. I'm not even playing. This guy is the biggest one in the world. I have the biggest lungfish in the world. So repeat after me. No, not you. Say Rod. Rod, Rod has the biggest, biggest lungfish in the world. That's why you married me. I think we're going to do the countdown. I don't think he's coming anymore. Let's put the countdown on the screen. 10, 
nine, eight, seven. Oh, this is so exciting. My new, my, my real challenge that I'm actually gonna win because Big Rich won the last one. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, Gimbo, even Gimbo got excited. You heard that? You got mail. Oh no, come on, man. Come on. We don't know what it is, but I'm hoping on the last second, I'm hoping it's nothing bad. I got a new email. It's not from the Lungfish Association, so that's a good thing. My hands are wet. The World's America's Lungfish Association? What is it? Okay. Okay. I don't believe this. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna read it. Hello, Rodrigo. I've had Joka since 2016. When he arrived, it was 18 to 20 inches. Now, Joka is the lungfish that I'm sending for the challenge. It's a marble albino lungfish and is reaching 200 centimeters. What's that in inches? Big. <laughs> albino? Albino. I can't believe it. He's actually got a YouTube channel. Look at this. Challenge Lungfish. Oh my God. Look at the size of it. Can you see it? That's a tail, yeah? Yeah. Oh, no, look, oh, look at his head. Oh, no way. way. Yes, let's see what the measures are. No! Look at it. I want this thing. I can't believe I lost. Look, 46. Oh, I said mine was 42. I'm done with challenges. I'm done. I'm done. I'm actually gonna shut off the light. You're over here, bro. bro, come on, dude. Oh, I do one challenge. I lost to Big Ridge. I do the second challenge. I lost to to the long face named Jocka. Done. Done. Shut off the light, you loser. <laughs> but this is an amazing animal. I I will actually put the the video on the screen for you guys to see, and I'll show their YouTube channel. This is insane. Jocka at Albino Lungfish. Look at the size of this fish. Look at it, 46 inches. Bro, you're lost. <laughs> I'm done with I'm done with challenges, dude. You're, you're, you're lost. Yeah, let's get in, bro. Get in. Damn, bro. Let's, let's get in, dude. You know you have a you're, kid with me, right? You're done. Just give away the shot, bro. Ah, no. If I do that, then I'll really lose everything. Exactly. Yeah, you're finished. Ah, no more challenge, guys. No more challenge. I'm sorry. I'm done with challenges, but. What do I say? I don't even know what to say. Congratulations. Well, congratulations to Jalka for this challenge and for Big Rich for winning the other challenge. And, you know, boohoo to me, second place is nothing. Well, let's start fresh in New York and see. see <laughs> second place? Have. I don't agree with giving medals to second place, bro. Like, you're, you're a loser of the first place. You're getting participation now. Take it. No, no, no. I'm going to take the defeat. 
you know. It's actually a joke I heard one time. There was a Spanish guy. South American. A, Sp a Spanish guy crossing the border. And uh, the immigration guy goes up at that to him and says, hey, did you just jump the wall? And he goes, no, no, no. I, I'm American. I was, I was born here. And he said, are you American? I, are you sure you didn't just cross the border? He's like, no, I promise. I'm American. He goes, if you're American, put these two words in a sentence. Defense and defeat. And he goes, okay. I come from Mexico. I jump the fence. I land on the feet. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm a little sad. I had to make the little joke to make you guys happy. I'm sure you were sad too, just like me. I'm happy that we got to meet Jaka and see an albino lungfish that big. Bro, you lost to an albino, bro. You want to land on the feet, bro? You want to land on the you feet? You should pay double for that, dude. It was not even like regular. It was albino, bro. I know, bro. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, man. Dude. So I lose double for that. Yeah, just, good luck, bro. Thanks, bro. You, appreciate you're it. You're still a good boss, but I appreciate luck, it. Hey, you're gonna shave your head next week. Don't don't be too happy. All right, well, you Smurf, you're gonna see it, guys. Please, let's do that. All right, show some support. Let's show Jordan some. He's a little sad. He might not be going to New York with us. You know, he's got family down here in Florida. But let's get him to a thousand likes, a thousand followers, at least to make him happy. And if you can like this video, like I said, yeah, he's in on Instagram. But if you like this video, 8,000 likes, I'll shave my head bald. I'll be like a bald Santa this year. Aye, aye, aye. And I don't care if you like it or not, you're already stuck to me. Guys, stay tuned for all the shipments coming in. Let me know what other challenge I should do, but at least pick one that I can't win. And I'll see you guys next time.